I was very skeptical as to how feasible this trip was because it was very ambitious and we had a very short time frame. First off, you know, we we put everything together, had our design set, and you know, especially with the sand sieves, you know, we knew what we were going to do and how things were going to work. And day one, like everything changed. The longest day I can remember is being stuck in Meishan Tai all day and walking around the village trying to find somebody to feed us for lunch because we didn't have food. Under these uh, conditions, you know, it, it's it's definitely hard for, um, it's, it's a high stress environment. A pile or, you know, the, the stockpile would slowly decrease, decrease, and you're kind of going like, okay, we're almost there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're almost there. installed. It then goes to a main tank at the top of a hill that's just a big storage tank and as the government installed it, it just goes down to a central spigot for each village. Now we're installing, or we did install, one slow sand filter system which consists of a roughing filter which is basically just a big filter filled with rocks because during the monsoon there's uh, excessive dirt in the water and it can be brown and that just removes a lot of it so that it won't clog the slow sand filters later on the line. And then the next step is we have two slow sand filters side by side um, and they work by uh, biological layer grows on the top called Schmusteca which is just German, German for layer of filth and this, this layer will uh, consume most of the bacteria and viruses and such in the water. And then the sand also acts as a physical filtration. Um, so thereby, between those two things, you actually get pretty clean water. The kids, you know, they're, they're very young and in school they learn a lot and they come home and what they learn from the health center and from the teachers, from the professors, the principals, they come home and then tell their parents. Sometimes because they're so young, you know, these kids are eight, eight to 10 years old, but they don't really know, understand um, the reasoning behind it, the health effects, the, the, the disadvantages of drinking dirty water. So the fact that with these workshops that we've worked together to compile and provide, it kind of gave the parents um, a perspective, like a more technical perspective, they could see the microbes in the water, they can see that these are real um, bacteria, E. coli, it's, it's a real thing and you're drinking it and they're seeing their children get sick and it's not normal. One of, one of the locals actually came up to me and he said, you know you're a very good teacher and uh, you should actually consider teaching here at William Kuhn permanently. On the job, I did a lot of work with the 
I guess I would call it pre-assembly. Building all the pieces that went inside the tanks and went around the tanks and building all the complicated, the manifold and the effluent pieces and the influent pieces and making sure that was all ready so that when it got shipped out to a site, it was ready to be put together on the spot. I oversaw the design of the slow sand filters and I made sure that they were built correctly. Wayong Kun is made up of uh, the Aka communities, the Lahu, the Chinese community, and the Akur. And we set out to build a system in uh, Lo Cho, which is a Lahu community, in Ban Lai Patana which is an Aka community, and Mei Chan Tai is an Aka. We built a system for the uh, Chinese community at their Chinese school. One of the things that I really enjoy about working at each different site specifically is that even though at each site you're doing the same thing, the system's the same at each site for the most part, but each site is a completely different experience with the people, the even within the village, like culture is a little bit different between the different, um, you know, different tribes, and just the fact that even though everything is the same, everything is completely different, and it's a brand new experience at every site. Uh, I think was the most enjoyable part. <laughs> I'm a first year mechanical engineering major at Cal Poly. It's good to be back. I definitely miss Wayne Kuhn. I miss how friendly everybody is. I miss walking into a village and them saying, hey, you're helping us with piping. Want to come to our feast tonight? I mean, like, I definitely miss that aspect of, uh, of Wayne Kuhn and all those, all the villages around it. Everybody has been talking about how Wayne Kuhn has been developing so quickly and Cal Poly's been there for five years and they, they point out new buildings every time we go and they're always explaining every time there's a lot of development going on and this is the first time I actually saw it. My main goal was getting the community involved in our project and excited about it. Uh, it's kind of confusing when you're coming into a community, bringing this weird technology and your presence is kind of unknown to them. So it was exciting to see how welcoming they were to us. As an environmental engineering student, my responsibility on the trip to Thailand was the operation of maintenance manuals and the technology transfer. So, you know, making sure the locals knew how to use the system, maintain the system. Um, I like Thailand. I, I've never been there before. This is my first time. And people are really friendly. Everyone's genuine and nice. And you really don't find that in a lot of places of the world. Everybody has a story over there. Everybody has somewhere how, what they're helping up in the community as well as what they're doing in their own life and contributing. So, you know, it was nice seeing some of my past friends over there in the village, like Moody or Ying, even the headman, even the, the headman is still running away. So it was nice to see him. And then, it feels great, because I always, I always wanted to make a difference, you know, like, I've been working on this project for two years, so it's kind of like the, the accumulation of everything, and uh, finally to have it come into the works and kind of fall together. It's like a puzzle, you know, and, and you're like scrambling to like find that last little piece, and then when you put it in there, you look at the whole picture and you see that. As a team, we've worked cohesively, and as a village, they've accepted us, and as a whole picture, we've put in six slow sand filters. 